Hello, what is up, everyone? My name is Kaito Nola, and yes, Deoxys is coming. All four, four, the four forms, they're all gonna be here for three days each. For the two weeks of raid hour, unfortunately, they're normal and defense. I don't know why. Like, I want attack. So, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna cover all the Deoxys because I simply don't have a time to make four different videos. Ah, uh, so let's get started. So the top counter is, yes, the Mega Gengar, and I am going to get to Mega Houndoom and Mega Rapsodon and stuff like that, and hear me out too. Okay, so for the Gengar, um, here is the normal Deoxys. So the, let's talk about uh, the Deoxys moves. So the normal Deoxys, they all have some type of electric uh, move. So uh, the normal speed and the, the defense have the Thunderbolt, and then the attack Deoxys is going to have a Zap Cannon. Uh, and then they all have like the kind of signature move in a sense, no signature, but like uh, the normal Deoxy is going to have a hyper beam and then the, the speed have a swift and then the, the rock slide for defense and then the dark pulse for attack. And then they all have psycho boost. Okay, so I'm going to get to all that. Let's talk about the Gengar first. So Gengar is, is generally it's a top counter. Okay, but when you look up attack the Oxys on the Poké Battle Lord, yes, you're gonna see the different Pokémon, but I'm still gonna say the Mega Gengar. You can't go wrong with Mega Gengar, especially if you're just raiding with a bunch of people. If you don't have, like, enough people to raid with, then I will recommend other Megas for attack the Oxys, but let's talk about Mega Gengar. So the damage 5, bulk 2, consistency 0 for Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. Lick Shadow Ball, it, it does not matter, uh, whichever you like. I personally like Lick. Okay, but I have a 6 Shadow Claw as well too, so it is really up to you. Lick is faster, um, more EPS, so uh, to me, I prefer using Lick, but like I said, it's it's up to you, so they're both good moves. So, so the talk about the defense, the Thunderbolt, anytime all the electric, uh, pretty much neutral damage to all, except if you want to use like Giratina, because Giratina is a dragon and it's going to resist the electric, but... Here's the thing about the Gengar or any ghost. Uh, ghost double resist normal moves. So when it comes to like Hyper Beam or Swift Speed uh, Deoxys, the Gengar. Gengar will uh, come in handy. But but the Gengar is also a part poison. So yes, he's going to be weak to Psycho Boost. And Psycho Boost is, is a terrible move. Uh, it's pretty slow. It has a very long damage window. It's really easy to dodge. It's just that the graphic is so distracting. We get, like, it turned into a whole world of pink. I hate Psycho Boost. Like, I personally, that's like, even it's slow, I really hate dodging Psycho Boost. So, but once you get that dodge timing ready, it's pretty easy to dodge. So, the Thunderbolt can be uh, quick though, which I, I don't really like. I, I don't know why, but I prefer dodging Thunder, which is faster than Thunderbolt. I don't know why. Like, to me, it's easier to dodge Thunder than in a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt slightly comes in later than in a Thunder, and I always get confused. So that's why I don't like Thunderbolt. But anyway, so yes, you don't go wrong with a Mega Gengar, okay? So yeah, if you have it, go ahead. And let's look at that. Yeah, this is for the speed that I was talking about. It has see that double resistance to swift. So yes, Gengar will work. Okay, and it's just a defense. It really does nothing. Like it's it has a terrible attack. So just you know, just use Mega Gengar. So let's talk about Mega Houndoom. The damage five, bulk three, consistency zero. The best move set is Snarl, Foul Play, and then we're looking at the attack Deoxys here. If you don't have a lot of people, as I said earlier. Using dark Pokemon over Ghost against attack will work, okay? So, I don't know about your raid group. Like, if you have, a, like, always have a bunch of people, then don't worry about it. Just use Gengar. But if you are, like, tend to have a small group of people raiding together, then, then I'll recommend Mega Houndoom. Mega Houndoom is awesome, by the way. It has super good tanks to compare to Gengar. So, let's look at the Mega Houndoom. So the Zap Cannon, neutral damage, like I said earlier, uh, pretty much all the electric move will be a neutral damage unless you use Giratina. And a Dark Pulse, single resistance because Dark resists Dark, and then Dark double resists Psychic, so yes, double resistance to Psycho Boost. So also the uh, defense, no defense, the attack Deoxys have a Zen Headbutt. Um, it will eat up Gengar's HP pretty quick. So... But if you're raiding with a bunch of people, like I said, it really does not matter. That damage will actually help you to spam more Shadow Balls. But if you don't have that luxury, then yes, I'll recommend Mega Houndoom, okay? 
And let's look at the Mega Absol. I love Absol. So the damage 5, bulk 1, consistency 0, co uh, best move set is Snarl Dark Pulse. Uh, compared to Mega Houndoom, uh, Mega Houndoom will be obviously better. It's tankier. Uh, so, But if you have a, a lot of energy, obviously Mega Absol looks fabulous. And you want to use Mega Absol? It's totally fine. When you look at the defense, it's pretty much same too. So yeah, Mega Absol is fine. But if you have the Mega Houndoom energy, then try to go for Mega Houndoom. And let's look at that Shadow Tita. I always say this Tita era is over, which is true. Only the Shadow form is still relevant. But against Attack Deoxys, he is actually the top uh, counter. So let's look at the, the, uh, the damage. It's 5, bulk 5, consistency 3, best moveset is Bite Crunch. Because it's his dark, uh, it has the same resistance like when you look at the defense. The rock typing does not come in handy this time at all. Uh, but I know a lot of people have a level 50 uh, T-Tar. Uh, and also, I still believe in a second Lavator community day because... Tita could be saved. If he could get foul play, he will go come back in the game. Like, he'll enter the chat once again. Like, remember the first Lavatar community day? It's like how the SmackDown literally broke the game. That SmackDown was like the Meteor Mash. It's one of those, like, huge move for PvE. So, he's not gonna be the best dark though even he gets foul play he's not gonna be like better than like you know dark Rai or anything like that but he is gonna come back to the chat for sure so yeah i could totally see the lava the second lava community day so so yeah better better grind the candies for sure so dark Rai will be the top counter if you don't count shadow and mega so let's look at the damage for bulk two consistency two best move set is snarl dark Pulse and this is a normal Deoxys. Like I said, um, dog double resist psychic, okay? And the dog ray will be amazing. But the De Deoxy itself has a really high at uh, attack stats, like even a normal. Normals like Thunderbolt will hit you so hard. So if you ever want to do like unique or looking for like a bunch of things, I'll always recommend a thunder uh, Thunderbolt. But anyway, so dog ray will work. And then let's look at the Gertina Origin. So the damage 3, bulk 5, consistency 5, best move set is Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw. Um, I said this over and over again. Uh, anytime you go up against the electric move Deoxys, yes, the dragon resists electric, so he will come in handy. But especially against uh, the attack Deoxys, uh, if he has a dark pulse, he's going to get wrecked because he's a pog ghost. You know, the ghost is weak to dark, so you need to watch out for that. But he is tanky. It'll work. So if you have a guaranteed origin, you want to use it, go ahead. And let's look at the Shandy. So the damage 3, bulk 2, consistency 1, best move set is Hex Shadow Ball. Um, yes, so the ghost double resists normal move. So the, he has a double resistance against the Hyper Beam, uh, normal Deoxys, and then the, the Swift Speed Deoxys. So the ghost typing will work perfectly fine. And just watch out for the Rock Slide um, defense Deoxys because he's Park Fire, so you don't want that. But at the same time, the defense Deoxys does nothing. So, like, I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's, it's a totally irrelevant information, but if you want to know. To me, it doesn't matter. Like, defense Deoxys just, just use anything. That's what I would say. You want to use bug? Go ahead. I don't care. Just, just use whatever. But have enough people for defense Deoxys. That's all I'm saying because it's tanky, okay? It's a tough trio. And let's look at the Shadow Weavile. The damage 3, bulk 1, consistency 0. Best move set is narrow foul play. And this is a normal Deoxys. Um, like I said, the dark will double resist. Uh, psychic and it also it is part ice so you need to watch out for the rock slide uh, defense deoxys but like i said it does nothing so so just just forget about it just use whatever against defense deoxys as long as it's super effective though okay or not like a level level 20 like card rate legendary don't do that don't and let's look at the Zaru. The, the damage for bulk 5, consistency 3, best moveset is Bite Dark Pulse. I wanted to talk about Zaru, especially against the defense Deoxys. Uh, my Zaru is terrible, so I haven't even touched it. I am probably going to soon, but I don't know when. Uh, so let's look at the defense. Because Zaru is a park grass, he will resist Zap Cannon, which is crazy, right? But yes. The uh, attack Deoxys Zap Cannon is really brutal, by the way. Um, 
you could solo attack Deoxys in so many ways. Like I've I've literally done everything I could do. Like I even soloed it with the like Houndoom. I did it with the level 40 Absol. I did it with Zam too. The one challenge that I left for my Zam is to solo Dark Pulse attack Deoxys, which I am going to because last time I did not have enough Zam. Like Literally, you get one shot KO if when you use Alakazam, like with the Dark Pulse, and then uh, I just simply did not have enough. So, but now I have a lot, plus like a level 50, so I can't wait. So, the Dark Pulse is a single resistance because the Dark resists Dark, and then the Double Resist Cycle boost. So, yes, the root will work. The root will work. Okay. And let's look at the Hoopa Unbound. Like, if you want to use regular Hoopa, which is fine too, but remember, the regular Hoopa is a ghost, okay? So, um, it's going to double resist uh, Hyper Beam and Swift and stuff like that, so which will work. But I wanted to talk about the Unbound, the triple resistance to Psychic. So, let's look at the damage 3, bulk 3, consistency 3, best moveset is Astonish. Shadow Ball, I really don't like Astonish. Like, that's like, ugh, move for me. But anyway, so let's look at that defense. It's a Thunderbolt neutral, Swift neutral, because it's not a ghost, okay? And the triple resistance to Psycho Boost, because the Dark resists, Psy uh, double resist Psychic, and the Psychic resists Psychic. So it does give the triple resistance. So it is really sexy. So if you want to use Hoopa Unbound, that's a good one to do to use that too. And let's talk about Shadow Mewtwo. The damage 3, bulk 1, consistency 0, best moveset is Psycho Cut Shadow Ball. So obviously you're gonna have to use the Elite Charge TM to get the Shadow Ball. Mine's actually half, uh, uh, what was it? Side Strike. <laughs> I have, I have side strike and then the, I think one move I keep it as like ice beam or something like that so I could roll it um, so I could use it uh, according to the challenges so I can't afford to have a two uh, legacy move to be honest so that's why I don't have a shadow ball um, you want to use shadow Mewtwo which is totally fine uh, the thing is you just have to watch out for the Dark Pulse attack Deoxys, okay? Because the Mewtwo is Psychic, but uh, the, it has the single resistance against Psycho Boost to all uh, Deoxys, so Shadow Mewtwo is fine, okay? So in general, I'll recommend a Ghost, like a Mega Gengar against all Deoxys, and then I'll recommend Mega Houndoom to attack Deoxys, but if you have enough people to rate with, just don't worry about it. Just use Mega Gengar. That's 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 it. Uh, I I have enough energy, so I'm I'm happy this time too. I am so low on Azard energy, like it's not even funny. Oh my god. And please go ahead and check pokebattlelordcom slash raise and you choose the raid boss, uh, moveset, weather, friendship level, and then you will get to see more. Like I could have talked about so many more, but I just really picked the general uh counters that i know everyone's gonna use so um like i said as long as it's super effective these raid bosses are not that hard like so have fun with it it's just a defense like you know if you remember before megas and level 50 you could you couldn't even trio like it was a quad so just have enough people, it's just like a Regis all over again, but have the enough people ready for the, the defense, which I am not interested at all. Um, but yeah, so just have fun with it, you know, and get a lot of shiny. And hopefully this guy will help and happy rating everybody. Bye!